What's going on everybody? My name is Harris and today's video is all about alternatives for airdrop on other platforms. For example, on Windows, Linux and other mobile operating system like Android. So I was looking for this for quite a while now and I just figured it out that this is the best method hands down to transfer files and I just love the way it works and it works like a magic. For instance, I will just tell you guys that I really love airdrop and how it works. Since I bought my MacBook it's almost six months now and what I do really love about this is actually the way we transfer files from iPhone to the MacBook and other hand of features. So this is the application known as Send Anywhere, which is available on almost every platform you can think of on Windows, Mac, Android and iOS and it does work cross platform. I know there are other applications like ShareIt and Zapier, they do work well but the thing is the time it takes to connect both of devices with each other is really bad and it's really cool in this application and i am not sponsored to say anything about this so stick around till the end so here i got my pixel right here and here is my iphone 10 here let me open this application on both phones so here it's on the pixel and here it's on the iphone 10 yes now after opening this application, all I need, so I, I need to make sure that both of these phones is, are connected to the same router. So after these are connected and I want to send this picture, for example, this is a square picture and I want to send it to the pixel. All I need is to select this and hit send. It's that simple. And here, as you can see that you are shown with which you really need to enter. So here you need to tap receive and then input the key. Let me input my key right now. And after inputting the key, here you can see that it might take a little while to connect between both of the phones. And voila, the file has been shared. So there are two drawbacks for using this. First one is that this works like the phone one from which we are sending the file to the other one is sending the file to the router and then router is sending to the phone. So it is a little bit slower and it does work for smaller files like photos or music or even short videos or applications that are not bigger than 100 MB. But if you really want to transfer a file that is bigger than 100 MB, I would really recommend you guys to use the hotspot of one phone. That way, all it need is to transfer the file directly into the other phone and this way it will transfer the file really really quickly and if you guys like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button for more videos like this and this is my third video of the day and i really really want to get to 5000 subscribers in a month if i can i guess so i would definitely think that you will help me peace